What's up, Panther fans? You know this is Panther Shore 89. Unfortunately, well, we got another game coming up. It's our uh, annual tradition of one primetime Thursday night game that no one wants to watch. Last year, we had the Texans. The year before that, we had the Falcons. And, uh, well, got the Falcons again. Another game no one really wants to watch, um, including probably most Panther and Falcon fans. Uh, come in, 2-7. and seven. Falcons are 4-5. and five. Both teams coming off a loss. Obviously, um, we had a bit of a uh, bit of a murder. What happened to us? And uh, we'll see if the guys show up this week. Um, I think, pure in fact, uh, the dopest uniforms probably ever made are going to be played Thursday. And if that doesn't get you up, I don't know what will. You can't get beat wearing these unis going all black with the black helmets. I mean, it's it's going to look good. Um, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot to say. We, You know, this game happened two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. And a game where the Panthers had two great opportunities to win the game and kicker felled us miserably. So, you know, you look back at that, and I, and I think that game played a big part into the Bengals game. It was a, I think it was definitely a bit of a broken team. Um, and then as soon as one thing went wrong in the Bengals game, it was kind of just like, all right, we're done, boys. Um, PJ getting the start again. Uh, I think he's earned the right to at least start again. Like I said, after the Bengals game, Baker Mayfield was not particularly good. Like, I know we scored some points while he was in, but he easily could have thrown a couple picks, and your narrative is completely different at that point, right? So it wasn't really that he was playing all that much better. I think he was just a bit fortunate. And you're also talking about garbage time. The Bengals aren't going to run anything crazy. And they're just going to kind of be like, all right, we're just going to let this time go. Defense got to show up better. Uh, let's try to uh, not have someone bust five TDs on our ass. And that would be uh, an improvement, I would say. So also, receivers got to catch the ball. PJ was not great. Uh, but I think a defining moment in that Bengals game was, I think it was in the first quarter, I want to say, first or early second. And P.J. spins out of a out of a sack, kind of ducks, throws on a run, beautiful ball to Tommy Tremble, and he, it would have been for a first down, drops it, right, and then got a punt. So I, I honestly think that was a big reason why the team just got, you know, just broken. And sometimes in the NFL, you just get blown out. It's bound to happen. Usually it happens once a year, especially to kind of bad teams where you're liable to be blown out any week. Um, but yeah, I think we win this game probably pretty similar to the last one. It's going to be close. I uh, would expect some points other than it could be some rain. So we'll see. Uh, I think probably win 27-24 right in that range. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's see what this team's made of. Obviously, we're not going anywhere and you know, we're not trying to necessarily win all that much. But, you know, a lot of these guys are going to be part of the teams going forward. And if they're a bunch of guys that just quit and fold, then you got to really question, are these the dudes that you want on your team? You know, it's DJ Moore, Brian Burns. Are these the kind of guys you want? So we'll see what happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll watch our one primetime game of the year. Uh, but I think that's about all for this video. So thanks for watching. Go Panthers.